Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai smart visas. And for those who are unaware, this is a kind of relatively new creation of Thai immigration authorities and the Thai government here. It's kind of meant to promote entrepreneurs, certain talent, investment here in Thailand. They can be issued for longer durations as opposed to certain standard business visas. A recent article from Padia Mail, that's padiamail.com, article is titled, Thailand to amend immigration rules to lure one million wealthy foreigners. Quoting directly, Deputy Prime Minister Supatana Pong Punmi Chow said that the government's top economic committee had approved in principle a number of measures for the post-pandemic era. Quoting further, top of the list is the smart visa for investors, skilled workers, and entrepreneurs in S-curve industries such as robotics, biofuels, electronics, renewable energy, and medical hub. The attractions include abolition of the 90-day address reporting to immigration, fast track passages at airports, and no need to have a separate work permit. Now, that is true on its face. There is no need for a standard work permit here in Thailand with respect to the smart visa program. But as we've discussed at length in other videos on this channel, there's still an adjudication with regard to work authorization. And in my opinion, it sort of all comes out in the wash, for lack of a better term. You end up being adjudicated with your visa for your work authorization. And these smart visas, it's not a foregone conclusion you're gonna get them. Frankly, our experience with them is, although they are, they're possible to obtain, they're not just a walk in the park. It's not like, you know, you just throw some documents at somebody and they just issue this. No, there's a substantial amount of scrutiny that's imposed upon these applications and the documentation associated with the corporate sponsorship associated with them. And for that reason, yeah, strictly speaking, you don't have to deal with a work permit. But in many ways, it can kind of be a little bit more of a cumbersome process, notwithstanding the lack of need for a work permit. Again, it's going to be circumstantially dependent when you're comparing scenarios, but my opinion is, as I said, it sort of all comes out in the wash. There's no real need for the work permit because it's inherent to the visa, but they still do the same adjudication, the same scrutiny they would with a work permit when they're issuing the visa anyway. 